My my direct inspiration came from my dad, you know, like I've got a picture of me when I was four years old, my dad's lifting me up on his knees and I've got a record in my hand, it's Marvin Gaye, let's get it on album. I'm trying to put it on the turntables. That's that's my dad. My dad had a huge collection of records. Uh, and his records were varied, you know, it went from country and western, a bit of folk music, a bit of African music, a bit of reggae, a bit of soul. So that's I'd say my old man. No, I, I've not always been a house head. I've always loved house, but I've not always DJed house. I've sort of played across the gamut, yeah? And I started off in hip hop. Two turntables and a microphone, that was me. And then, you know, um, eventually I got to drum and bass and house. And when I moved to New York, I was, I was uh, you know, a young actor in New York, starving actor, I was DJing on the side. And in New York, you had to play a little bit of everything. You get to a bar, they're like hip hop, they're like reggae, they want some house, they want some salsa. And so I, I, I started to pick up the house spits then, and that was, you know, a good 25 years ago. My first ever gig was with my uncle, and uh, we lived in Hackney and in these tower blocks, and we had the pub down the road next to us called the Middleton Arms. And my uncle used to DJ there on a Friday night. And on Friday after school, he'd say, come on, boy, and you know, we'd go and plug it all in. My dad used to play pool in there. It was a community pub. But obviously around nine o'clock now, the place is jumping. I'm supposed to be in bed and I'm in there DJing. Yeah, you know, I, I came to the island like most people on a thrill seeker. I had friends here that were like, come, you're gonna enjoy it. Um, and I came before I was DJing, you know, I came as a, just going on holiday, having a good time. And then I got an opportunity and I, I DJed uh, with the IB for Rocks team. First gig, Dawley, good shout out to Dawley, he's one of the best DJs in the world. She gave me a shot and I did a back to back of him. And that was the beginning, you know, and I did some res residencies, smaller residencies, and um, I'm no stranger to the island, you know what I mean? I've, I've been here for a while now, I'd say probably a good eight, seven years, you know, just back and forth, you know. Um, I love the island, love DJing here. I mean, I'm really proud of being at High. It's my second season here. And it's an incredible company to work for, incredible club. But, um, you know, my history goes back, man. I, I go deep in this shit, you get? <laughs> <laughs> so last year, man, when I, when I say last season I was here, you know, I, 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 I prided myself in offering an alternative to the main room, you know, um, but complimentary. I play Tech House, I'm, I like to get gnarly, but this year I'm actually getting a little bit more musical. I've been producing a lot more records and, and a lot of my records have vocals in them, but I still am a bass head, you know what I mean? I've got to have my bass. So I think I'm going to, you know, try and entertain the room a little bit more. I've got the old drum pads out, I'm going to be drumming again, and I'm going to have some percussionists come through, might even expand to some vocalists. You know, just because I think people love the experience of seeing a DJ create live. If I could pull in the live elements that, you know, musicianships and vocals, maybe even another DJ doing acapellas, I might have the whole gamut, you know what I mean? And then the main room is going off, you know, like David's created a really beautiful room, the Future House set, and I think that's going to be great. So I'm in that. I love going to Formentera. Formentera is beautiful, you know, it's got this sort of like, there's a real magnetism and like literally, literally, scientifically, that part of the world has a very sort of high magnetic feel, m more than most, and um, I love it there. Somehow I just feel very balanced there, very cool, very uh, relaxed. It's beautiful, the sun is gorgeous there, the weather's great and the people are great, so I love going to Formentera for sure. Young DJs, young artists, young producers, you know, n like the world is your oyster at the moment. You've got this incredible device in your hand, it's called a phone, but it's also a portal to the rest of the world. So don't take it for, um, for granted. But that said, you gotta get out there, man. You get to gigs, get to writing sessions, get to, you know, if someone says open mic somewhere or open DJ something or beat battle, 
get there, take your stuff and have a go because that's how you branch out. You can sit on the phone all day, but you know, you've got to go and take the adv advantages. If someone says to you, do you fancy half an hour opening for me? Take it. Um, if they haven't asked you yet, go out there and force yourself in front of them. Um, the guy that's opening up for me tonight, his name's Bluey. And I'm, honestly, I kid you not, I wouldn't know him if it wasn't for his tenacity. He's like under, in me emails every, every week, playing, making tunes. I mean, he makes tunes all day long and then sends them out. And then eventually, David Getter's gone, yeah, put him on, he's underneath me at, at, at I. So that's an example of your hard work. You can sit on the phone all day, social media, that's great, use it. But get out there, go to gigs, see other DJs, you know, definitely see other DJs, crates with mates. <laughs> To be back in Ibiza this year means everything. You know why? Because for the last two or three years, we've all sort of gone through this cycle of not knowing what the hell is going to happen with our world. And we all know that Ibiza is a place to release and relax. So to be offered, you know, another residency to come back is everything. You know, of course, I make, you know, a, a really good living as an actor. I love it, but I love DJing and love being in this environment. So it means everything for me to be back. It's also just, you know, it's a real testament to, you know, uh, the club culture. I love the club culture. I came up with it. You know, I don't care what you say. You know, people love phones and all of that, but you can't beat club culture. A lot of people cut their teeth in business, in friendships, got married, got kids from club culture. So to be back in it, it just feels very, very, very special. You'll love this piece of real estate. <laughs> Just wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's like, doesn't it doesn't have... <laughs> <laughs>